we'll be doing the bank game multiplication with a two-digit multiplier. And the problem I'm working with is 6,784 taken 43 times. And it's interesting for you to remember that when I constructed this problem, I constructed the tens, the units place with a zero underneath it for when I'm ready to multiply by the tens place. I don't know if I said that particularly well either, so maybe I do want to say it again. Um, the multiplier for this problem is 43, and I'm using gray numerals to show both 40 and 3. So we can see 43, and underneath the 3 is the 0 placeholder for when the multiplication is done by 40. And as before, I'm going to decompose the multiplicand and multiply each part of the multiplicand by each part of the multiplier, starting with the units place. So the units place of the multiplier is 3. I'm not going to look at what I don't need to use right now. So 4 taken 3 times equals 12. So the banker needs to get the product 12 for me from the bank. Now I'm going to slide the multiplier down. 80 taken 3 times, or 8 taken 3 times is 24, with a 0, or 240, 240. Seven hundred taken three times is twenty one hundred or two thousand one hundred. Six thousand taken three times is eighteen thousand. Eighteen thousand is one ten thousand eight thousands. So I've finished multiplying all parts of my multiplication by 3, the units place. Before I continue, I'm going to simplify this partial product so that there's only one card for each denomination. I have 10 plus 40, and that equals 50. 200 plus 100 equals 300. 2,000 plus 8,000 equals 10,000. But if I go to the bank, I notice that there isn't a 10,000 card for me to get because it's already out. So here's my negotiation. I need 10,000. I have 10,000. So if I take this 10,000 and the one that I need, that will give me 20,000. That was a way to find the amount I needed. So let's see. I finished multiplying everything by 3. And now I'm ready to multiply by the tens place of my multiplier, which is 40. But before I start this multiplication, I'm going to move the zero from the multiplier side of the equation 
to the multiple can side of the equation, and the value of the answer won't vary. That's called the law of invariance. So I'm going to multiply everything by 4 and slide the 0 down to the, on the multiple can side of this equation. So 40 taken 4 times is 160. Eight hundred taken four times equals thirty two hundred or three thousand two hundred. Seven thousand four times equals twenty eight thousand. I can find an 8,000, but I have to do another negotiation. There's no 20,000 card, so I need 20,000. 20,000 plus 20,000 equals 40,000. This said 6,000, now it says 60,000 taken four times. 60,000 taken four times equals 240,000. Here's 200,000, but I have another problem because the 40,000 is already out. So I'll take this 40,000, add it to the 40,000 more that I need, and get 80,000. But I have to just have one card for each denomination before I can read this product. Two is fine. It's the only number I have in the units place. 50 plus 60 equals 110. This is where it's really nice to have a cashier to do the calculating. 100 is missing. So in my head, I have to think about 100 plus 300 is 400, plus 100 is 500, plus 200 is 700. And that's the card I'll get for the hundreds place. 3,000 plus 8,000 is 11,000. 11,000 is 1 10,000 and 1 unit of thousands. 1,000 plus 8,000 equals 9,000. And 200,000. So let's recreate the problem. It was 6,784 taken 43 times, and the final product is 291,712.